Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> okay, Xenoblade Note Volume 5 is here. But uh, guess who's got the big COVID-19? Yeah, I'm pretty sure your boy has the C word. So I'm feeling kind of feeling kind of weird right now. So my voice may be a little off, but I can get through this. But we're finally here in Xenoblade Note Volume Five, introducing the help of the adventure of Xenoblade Three. Xenoblade Note introduces Nintendo Switch Xenoblade Three to be released on July 29th. This time, the fifth installment is about helping with adventures. Seventh Companion, Hero As the story progresses, in addition to Noah and the other six characters, there are also special characters who would join the party. The seventh companion called a hero, and when he officially joins the party, he fights with him as a companion in battle. This time, we'll introduce several heroes slash groups. Oh, and before we get to that, Yuzuriha actually got her name localized. We actually have a localized name for her now. And I actually like it more than Yuzuriha. But I don't want to spoil that. <laughs> we'll get to it when, you know, we get to it. And then, screenshot of Iuni. We've seen this screenshot many times already. Actually, I think this is different. Because we've seen this screenshot of them in this, like, foresty area. With uh, more and more... So I think this is different. So that's probably Max the Wildwood. But Riku and Manana, a special hero who joins a party in pairs. The class is Yume Smith, role attacker. He is a very or he is a versatile attacker who is good at tricks and he or and has the power to change the situation of battle while weakening the enemy. So it looks like they're uh, Ryuko and Manana are, um, like, buff debuff attacker type thing. Like a mix between, you know, Senna and Tyon. Riku is a Nopon with extremely thick eyebrows who belongs to the same Kevis Colony 9 as Noah. In the colony, you are in charge of item, item crafting and maintenance on the Iron Giant. Yeah, a couple... Screenshots of Riku. And we actually have a little video of him as well, right? But well, he actually has like fur on his stomach. I didn't actually notice that. He's got fur like all over his body. I like the nice attention to detail that Xenoblade 3 is getting incredible. And just like the very <laughs> expressive facial expressions. Nikumo, Colony Nine Dewa, maintenance to craft to Tanto Stetamo. Ato, Koitra, Rikuno, Otomo, Koki, Scatte, Crete, Imo. Nanda, Otomote. I don't know what he said, but um, I'm sure some of you will be able to understand that. Banana is a Napon who belongs to Agnes and is good at cooking with his trademark hat. His, he, works with Mio and the others and is in charge of cooking. His culinary prowess was considerable and he was the head chef of the previous colony. Previous colony? Like lives in a different colony now? Yeah, Manana actually reminds me a lot of uh, Nene from uh, Future Connected. I guess because they're just both pink map on. He is always thinking about food, and if he finds something that could be used as an ingredient during his adventures, he can ask Manana to cook it deliciously. Okay, that was weird to read. Clip. See, Imeo and Senna? 
And his hair looks really nice in here. Rudy, whose actual localized name is Valdi. A hero who is good at healing and strengthening the abilities to his comrades. As well as supporting battles, the class is War Medic, Roll Healer, and has a skill to heal all of, his, all of its allies. So Rudy is basically just another Sharla. Did I say Rudy? I meant Valdi. I like his eyes. Like, what about his eye right there? I don't think I've actually seen these screens. Get to see Mecha in here. And had two, half full. Just like Yuzuriha, so not quite sure what that means. Baldi belongs to the colony of Quevis <laughs> and is a mechanic who is good at developing and repairing weapons. No one in the weapons development of Kevis is on the right. His love for machines also seems to be stronger than that of humans, and he names each weapon. He attacked to defeat Noah, the Ouroboros, but apparently changed his mind. Ouroboros! I don't, yeah, I actually haven't seen that clip. I actually like it a lot. Xeon, the class is Guardian Commander, Role Defender, and you fight while protecting your allies with swords and shields. Adversity increases your ability so you can be especially effective when fighting strong enemies. Team Xeon is actually a half breed since he has small, uh, that looks dope. He has small things on it. I also really like his shield. His shield design is pretty dope. In the colony of Kevis, to which Xeon belongs, food shortages have become a serious problem. And he struggles every day while thinking about the lives of his friends. He and Noah, who are also from Kevis, are old friends, but now they seem to have a connection. A dope it's a dope ass clip see like the weapons just appear and disappear so cool also why is Zeon attacking them it literally just said him and um him and Noah are friends but here we get to the best part of the entire note Yuzriha, who her local localized name is actually Juniper, and I love that name. Juniper is such a beautiful name, and it fits her because she's got like a whole theme of trees and everything going on. Yuzriha and Juniper are both names trees. At least I don't know about Yuzriha. I think I'm pretty sure it has something to do with trees, but Juniper is a type of tree, and you know it makes sense since she lives in Maxa Wildwood. And lives amongst the trees. A blow from a blind spot with a bow is a powerful phantom archer. That's a dope ass roll. Roll attacker. By turning off the signs, you can safe, safely hunt enemies. And we still beautiful screenshots. I think I like her even more now 
knowing her localized name. Like Juniper is such a beautiful name. And then she actually has her tattoo right here on her in her thigh, which is also halfway full, just like Valdi. So who knows? Juniper seems to belong to Agnes, but usually lives quietly in the forest. Perhaps because he lives in the forest, he is very agile and can move swiftly. I think I meant swiftly. Whistly on trees and thin ropes. He seems to be trusted by his fellow colonies as well. I don't know why it lagged like. I love that clip so much. And then, rest points. Besides this, there seem to be other heroes you meet during the adventure. It seems that traveling around the world and looking for new friends is also fun. So we still have more heroes to meet. Interesting because um, we're not gonna meet Nimue because she's dead. And then there's still that glass hand girl from the second trailer that we know nothing about. So hopefully we'll learn about her soon. And that whole like Ouroboros guy. Rest place of adventure, rest point. Once you find a, a rest points around the world, you can always go there with skip the line travel. First of all, it is recommended to find a rest point and explore the surroundings. This time, I'll introduce two things you can do at the rest point. Of the rest point map. Which looks really trippy, by the way. Like the red and blue. Really trippy. Cooking. At the rest point, Manana will cook for you. You'll need to... Procure ingredients in the field, but eating Manana's dishes has a positive effect, such as a temporary increase in experience points and rewards that you can get after battle. Seems cooking will give us um, like buffs or certain effects during and after battle. So it is kind of like um. Tales of Arise, you know, does the same thing. There is also a place where there is a cafeteria, a rest point, and Manana sometimes inspires new dishes. Then this little screenshot spawned a meme of putting the Manana text box over private areas. Gymcraft. At rest points, Riku will use items you pick up during your adventure or get from enemies to gemcraft. Gems are powerful equipment that can be attached to each character, and it has the effect of increasing attack power and healing power, which gives you advantage in battle. This is still pretty early on in the game since Noah is still wearing his uh, Kevis actually get a look at but I really like the UI of Z like the UI design is the future there are other things you can do at the rest point so I'll introduce it at a later date introducing some of the BGM we'll introduce some of the BGM that plays during the event scene battle we'll play three yeah I actually uploaded these to my channel so before this video, I uploaded all three of these, but um, these all slap so hard. The Life Saved, it is an impressive song played by Noah and Mio of Okuribi. The sound of the whistle has gentle, a sad atmosphere. And this is the main theme of Xenoblade 3.
Yeah, so that was the main theme, which is absolutely beautiful. By here, Bearing Your Life. This is probably my favorite song in the entire game right now from what we've heard. Bearing Your Life is so, so good. Changing from a quiet melody, it is a song with a tense, up-tempo tone. And it is a song that expresses the feelings of six people who are fighting while hiding their own thoughts. This is absolutely God, that shit is so good. And you can actually hear uh, part of Desolation from Xenoblade 2 in there and Engage the Enemy from Xenoblade 1. So you want to know where those are at, uh, just go watch you know, the actual video that I uploaded of this. And I got timestamps in comments. So, hey, I, I love that theme. So good. And then Kevis Battle. It is one of the songs that plays during the battle and the sounds of the whistle is the signal to start the battle. This one is really good. <laughs> Just love the Xenoblade 3 music altogether.
see how good that sounds? Just wait till we hear the Agnes battle theme. Holy shit. But yeah, that's the end of Xenoblade Note 5. That's it for the fifth installment of Xenoblade Notes. What do you think? If you're logged in with your Nintendo account, you can pre-order the downloaded version of the software directly from the link below. But yeah, that's that's it for Xenoblade Note 5. Um, I'm kind of like a day or two late to this. So, but hey, I was able to like pull myself together and make it now. I'm feeling like hella sick, but you know, I got to pull through for y'all. So I hope you enjoyed one and go listen to the music. Okay. That I go listen to these three things that I have. They're so good, especially bearing your life. I love that. It's, it's so, it's so good. And parts of it actually reminds me of Fire Emblem Three Houses. But yeah, that's, that's it for somebody note five. Oh, so, not feeling well enough to do the outro. So.